Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. In this video, guys, we're going to talk about Kiwi Cakes holding the number one spot as it relates to the TikTok celebrity blackout party. Let's talk about it, shall we? Because in case you're not aware, TikTokers are organizing their efforts to block celebrities who refuse to speak out against the genocide in Gaza. Now, you might be saying, but this has been going on since last year, October. So what is causing this effect all of a sudden? And I have the answer for that, the Met Gala. Because what TikTokers are arguing is that, you know, on the night of the Met Gala, where celebrities were paying $75,000 for this event, it was the same night that Israel started bombing Rafa. And they're saying, you know, this girl, Haley Bailey, that's H-A-Y-L-E-E-B-A-Y-L-E-E, -E -E -E, she did a video you know, standing outside the Met Gala saying, let them eat cake. But it's a phrase that is normally used at the Met Gala, you know, or at these events. However, many TikTokers found, you know, the statement, the video to be very disrespectful to humanity and little to no regard for humanity because they're saying that, you know, this event, at the time that the event was, you know, taking place, it's the very same time that Rockford was being bombed. And here come celebrities living it up, them and then their kids, you know, basically living their best lives while you have kids who are suffering, innocent kids. And these TikTokers are saying, you know what, we cannot afford to st um, stand by and watch this continue much longer. We need to do something and we need to do something really fast. So as such, they've came up with the decisions to block um, celebrities, unfollow their page. And they're talking, you know, not just Instagram, any platform that those celebrities are on, they're unfollowing, they're blocking, they're going to their sites, adding items to their shopping cart, letting it stay there because they're saying that that affects their marketing dollars in terms of algorithm analytics, driving sales and traffic towards their website. Now, this has been going on for the past few days since the Met Gala, as I've said. But for some reason, number one on the chopping block is Miss Kimmy Cakes. Kim, so far, has lost a company combined total of 10 million followers. Like, do you notice, do you even understand what 10 million followers are like that's a lot but for some reason i don't know something is not adding up with kim's account because they have these trackers that are tracking the account you can see how many um followers they're losing right but for some reason because if you guys remember i showed you a clip a few days ago wherein kim kardashian had a I think it was 9 million 600 and whatever thousand followers on thick on TikTok. Now it's at 9 million 700 and something. So I'm saying something is not right because there are so many videos on TikTok where TikTokers are saying this needs to happen. Y'all need to do this. Support, support, support. And not because Kim is name is at the number one spot. It doesn't mean that she's alone. They're talking about print beauty, rare beauty. You know, every celebrity that has not spoken out, they're coming for every single one of them. But for some reason, Kimmy Cakes and her family is number one on the chopping block. Like Kim is right, right at the start of the line. And I don't know the reason for that. Because, I mean, I know that Kim has pissed the internet off quite a few times, saying a few little things here and there, shady business deals and whatnot. But, I mean, Kim, <laughs> the number one on the hit list. I don't know the reason for that. I don't know. But I, but if I had to guess, I think because I've been following a lot of these reaction videos because what they have been saying is that Kim has been shoving Starbucks in their faces when they said that they're going to block Starbucks. Kim was there shoving it in their faces. 
So I think that these TikTokers, they do have a personal vendetta against Miss Kimmy Cakes because they're saying, you know, when they were speaking out, they basically said that Kim was basically playing in their faces. Like if they say we're going to boycott this, when they look a day or two later, you could see Kim Kardashian promoting the very same product that they're calling to have, you know, boycott. So it seems as though they really have a personal vendetta against Kim. But at the end of the day, you know, if I'm being truly honest, while it may seem like a personal vendetta, it's not because I do understand what they're saying. And I definitely understand what they're hoping to achieve to achieve, sorry, by doing this. But this is my reasoning because I definitely understand and I genuinely wholeheartedly do understand. But if they're going to come after celebrities like this and celebrities are losing, these celebrities are going to sit down and they're going to take that loss. They're not going to speak out. You know why, why they're not going to speak out? Especially um, a Fenty Beauty Rihanna. Rihanna is not going to speak out because Rihanna knows that she's a minority and she would be one of the first people on the chopping block to be cancelled by the powers that be. Kim Kardashian holds tight in that position with the powers that be. She has many ties, many connections, many friends, many business, you know, connections with the powers that be. So thinking about that, it also gives the sense that this is the reason why Kim is the number one hit on the chopping block, right? But I'm just saying that, you know, thinking about it logically from a realistic perspective, a minority like a Rihanna, she would rather sit and take the loss and work on rebranding at a later date because if she does speak out, let's keep it real. If Rihanna should speak out at this point, they're going to ensure that Rihanna is cancelled. Kim can speak out and get away with it. Rihanna cannot do that. Rihanna does not have the same luck being a minority. We're talking a girl from Barbados who had to work for her career. She had to work to build her brand. She didn't have a mom to launch a sex tape or anything. God bless her talent that she has. She's not the most amazing singer in the world, but she's one of the most amazing entertainer there is. And that is what has helped her to get to the point where she is. So just imagine yourself being a Rihanna. We know Rihanna is one of the most charitable celebrities in the industry. Rihanna has gone to Africa. She she was there for months, weeks, you know, contributing, donating, you know, hugging those kids, kissing those kids, no discrimination, you know, opening schools, helping to provide water to communities, um, helping to provide electricity to communities, helping to provide, you know, medical care to them. So I do know that and these are things that many people may not know is that Le Rihanna does a lot of charity work. Maybe then all celebrities come by. That girl does a lot of charity work. So, I mean, with an individual like Rihanna, I really believe that Rihanna would rather sit back, be silent and take the hit from the boycott, you know, from the blackout, because she knows that if she takes that hit, she understands, you know, the aim that people are trying to achieve by doing this. And she understands that, you know, she can market and rebrand and, you know, put in the work to come again. But if she does speak out, she knows that they will cancel her. They will cancel that girl if she speaks out. Already being a minority, is such an offense. They would chew her up and spit her out in a heartbeat. But versus the Kimmy Cakes, I believe that Kim, based on her connection, Kim belongs to Hollywood. Kim, born and bred in LA, you know, whole old money. She can speak out and really cause a change. She can effect change if she does speak out. But Kim is not going to do that. She's definitely not going to do that. Um, she's going to sit just the same and be silent. You know, I think it's going to take a lot more work. I'm not saying that they sh should not, you know, do what they're planning to do. I'm just, you know, really analyzing, you know, what they're doing and how this is going to help. Like, what is it going to really 
do, right? I do believe that it's going to affect change, but I don't think that it's going to affect the change that TikTokers are hoping to achieve. I do believe that these, you know, celebrities may say to the government, you know, we are getting attacked from this. Our businesses are suffering and you need to speak up because we don't have the power to do it, but you have the power to do it. And if that happens at the end of the day, this blackout party will still be successful. So I I am definitely seeing where they are achieving success, but the question is, how successful will they be in their efforts? Like, I do hope that something happens and this, you know, madness, because it's just madness, heartlessness, cruelty. I do hope that something truly happens where it comes to a end. And that's all I have to say about that for this video. Let me know what are your thoughts while you're at it. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. See you guys later. Bye, guys.